progress with Quartet. But first, we're going to take a look at the state of Alpha 3.3 and some upcoming changes to the roadmap. Yes, uh, so we've got some good news and some bad news. So from a ship update's perspective, long story short, Hawk still in, 600i touring module still in, the freelancer Miss, Dur, and Max, yeah, those are still in, and the Reliant Core, which is getting some minor changes so that it's a little less, you know, a little less Hobbit size and a little bit more human size, those changes are still in. And apart from that, as we now know, officially, R Corp not going to be in 3.4 and female character models not going to be in. Now, I was a little bit surprised about the female character models not being in because, you know, we'd seen them working on this for, I think, the better part of two years. So I would assume, I would guess, that work had been begun on this front and probably stopped a couple of times to work on something else, work on this, work on that. And then by the time they came back to revisit it, maybe they figured they had it close enough, but then they realized that the model didn't quite fit all the ships. And so you were gonna get some of those weird angles where the hands were outstretched too far because it's a different sized model. And they just said, you know what, it's, it's too much of a mismatch, more work needs to be done, so we're holding off on this until 3-4. Or sorry, not 3-4, 3-5. But what are we walking away with? Well, we already know that we got object container streaming, right? And Hurston and Lorville that comes along with it that is something that truthfully we still haven't gotten right so we're still technically getting a world and its moon something that we still don't have yet and yes this is the product of a delay but realistically when you look at the big win that we got with object container streaming i think a lot of people will kind of look at this and then add in the hurston and lorville content and say you know what it's not that big of a loss really it's it's really, it's a delay. It's not like they said, well, our corpse canceled, see you later. You know, no. It's something that's coming on, coming along down the line, but it is not coming anytime soon. And we know that what we are getting is something that we haven't had before. Something that we've seen, but we haven't got to play with. So we're still getting a whole bunch of new shit. Is it coming when we wanted it to? No, but it is still on its way. And so we're still going to have a lot of new stuff going into the Christmas break and then into the new year. And hopefully, hopefully on a much more stable live version of the client that we can actually progress in and have a little fun with before 3.5 hits the servers. The only real long-term downside that I see, and once again, this is something that I talked about recently, is... A lot of the content is still CIG driven. Um, a lot of the gameplay systems that need to be in place for players to kind of go off and do their own things and set their own pace and have their own adventures really isn't here. I mean, salvaging isn't here. Refueling isn't here. Exploration really isn't here yet. So there's a lot of, a lot of the core gameplay systems that are really gonna define the game. You know, the economy, really isn't an economy yet so a lot of what players are going to kind of you know go into the game and kind of find their own way a lot of the things that allow them to do that are really just not there yet and so a lot of a lot of the responsibility for gameplay still falls on cig's sh uh, shoulders a lot of responsibility for content there's not a lot of freedom yet for players to kind of generate their own. So that is gonna be a continuing problem going into the future is that you get in, you play it, you play it for a few days, go, oh, this is a new mission, oh, this is a new landing site. And because you don't really have that freedom yet, it's gonna to start to feel a little bit samey after a while. And a lot of you will probably know what I'm talking about. A lot of you probably go in, you play the game for a while, you play it for maybe a few days, maybe a week, maybe two. 
and then you kind of go okay well I've seen it now and now I just kind of go back into you know my holding pattern waiting for the next big release and until we get enough of these systems in together that give us enough freedom to kind of go out and explore and do our own things it's going to be like that for a while. The real important things to watch the roadmap for really are the player professions and overall performance and gameplay improvements. Those are the key things. Sure, a new planet, a new moon, a new mission. Those are all nice things to have and certainly it's nice experience for CIG to have to kind of go and expand on what they can do in the game and maybe learn to do it better and you know with each patch hopefully it gets better but truthfully until these systems come into place uh their cig is going to run into an issue no matter what bugs we run into if we've got the right things in place we can tolerate them as long as we can kind of go off and do our own thing and that is going to be the big hurdle really for all of us it's not going to be down to one planet one ship one landing zone or one branch of missions it's going to be down to giving players the freedom to actually go out and just explore the game and not have every experience dictated by the same limited number of variables that we have access to right now anyways that's the show for today yep it's another short ship updates because there really weren't all that many Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and thanks for watching. See you Monday. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. So, 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 if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.